So I checked with these guys. They're being told to do this, by the way. So uh, blowing these leaves is not something that's necessary. Uh, but they're going to actually, all that tall grass down there, they're actually going to blow all the leaves out of the tall grass. And this is, of course, my neighbor's property. And so it just shows the level of insanity when it comes to beneficial insects, poll pollinators and such. And then also a disregard for property rights in the sense that those leaves are being blown down into a creek. And so there's a creek at the bottom of the hill. And those leaves are being blown down into someone else's property, essentially. And again, I, I, I've talked to these guys before. They're being asked to do this. They're being asked to blow all those leaves. And they weren't quite sure why someone would blow their leaves out of their backyard, especially when the majority of the backyard is in the woods. But they've been specifically asked to uh, clean up the leaves and remove the leaves. And again, they're going to do what they're getting paid to do. Uh, but nobody really needs to mow down there. Or do they tend to mow down there because it's just the woods? It's tall grass. But what happens is those leaves will then clog up the waterways and cause um, a backlog. And some of the leaves will decompose and end up in the creeks. But uh, that's the silliness of how people manage their property. Of course, this is how I manage mine, which is essentially detention basins and tall grass that just takes care of itself. And there's hundreds of small birds in there. The leaves decompose. It doesn't slow down grass growth. And then typically all uh, winter, there's no mowing, no leaf blowing, no nothing. But as you can see, they're blowing the leaves into my yard. And then they're blowing the leaves into the woods. Rather than just leaving them for next year. <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious. And then I got to listen to this droning for hours. I was trying to do some recordings. And then I've got the droning. And I'm droning on. It's kind of cool to see all the leaf blowing out. Now, these are professionals, by the way. They are wearing ear, hearing protection. And eye protection. And uh, if it's important for them to have this kind of protection, then anybody nearby should also have it, but there's quite a bit of noise pollution. And of course those leaves are, those leaves could otherwise be feeding the soil, which is the lawn, providing habitat for small birds and or the, the food of small birds. But no, this particular homeowner wants to blow it out in the woods and then complain about how I maintain my yard. Of course, I'm doing the same thing, complaining about how they maintain their yard because all the leaves that they were blowing off up top here are now in my yard, which I don't care. They're just going to decompose. Uh, but it is a funny use of, of fuel and uh, the time and attention these individuals could be off work in someplace else. Now, they don't really care because they get paid either way, but they're literally blowing the leaves from the woods into the woods but they're blowing them across the property line so they're blowing them down there off of their land into someone else's property and then another thing about um, the leaf blowing around the base of trees is it starts exposing roots that um, that exposed set of root there is uh, would otherwise be you know leaf decomposition and such but uh Yep, that's the humor of the system, and he's got to go take pictures. <laughs>